Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be doing the collector editions from Destiny 1 all the way to Destiny 2 Beyond Light comparisons. Now, I wanted to do this video just to show you guys all the collector's editions that Destiny has had. Just because it's been a long while since Destiny's been doing collector's editions. So I wanted to showcase all the collector's editions that I own, which I think are all of them. So here we have the Beyond Light collector's edition, the Shard of Darkness, which is heavier than I thought it would be. It's really cool. This is the Shadow Keep Collector's Edition. Obviously, there's more that I will show later, but this is cool because it's a puzzle that you unlock, and once you unlock it, you open it just how I showcased, and it's really cool because it has secrets in there. <clears throat> this one is from the Forsaken Collector's Edition, which is really cool because you get a cage statue. It's not so much of a Collector's Edition, more like a GameStop exclusive special edition. And the... Strange Coin is from the Taken King Collector's Edition, which is one of my favorites. <clears throat> like, hands down, Strange Coin's really cool. This one, I will say, is my favorite. Like, hands down, like, I, like, favorite. Because this is, like, the last proof that the ghost used to be Dinklebot. And if you guys don't know, Dinklebot is, like, the old voice actor for the ghost. Like, in my opinion, the ghost, that, the voice actor that we have now for the ghost kind of sounds like a bitch. So that's why I don't like him, but <clears throat> still cool. Now here we get to the box sets that each collector edition comes with. This is from Destiny 2 Vanilla, and it's really cool because there's just so much goodies in here that... Once you compare them to Beyond Light, that's when I'm just kind of like, damn, like there's just so much missing from Beyond Light and it's more expensive if I remember correctly. Uh, I might be wrong on that actually. I think they're the same price. So a lot of postcards, a lot of collect, all of the, all of these collector editions will most likely have some sort of postcard. Here is a note, which is cool. The only thing that the Forsaken one didn't come with is like an actual booklet with goodies and stuff. It just came with the with the statue. So if you were wondering why there's not, not a Forsaken one, that's why. Here we have a map of the solar system in Destiny 1, which is really cool. I definitely have to have that like framed. And then we get to the cool parts where it's like stamps, stickers, not stamps. What is it? P um, a patch, stickers, uh another picture of like an astronaut and then <clears throat> some pictures of the moon like but the negatives of them if i remember correctly which are really cool it's really cool uh the destiny one collector's edition probably has to be my favorite just to, for the amount of stuff it has not saying it's the best it's just one of my favorites i think the best one's like hands down like maybe the shadow keep or taking king <clears throat> when and i mean that like the box set like what it comes with which is really weird because when i got the box set for shadow keep i thought it was weak but now looking back i think it's really cool because we actually get like a box so that's really cool here we see a booklet of just like the arts of destiny 2 we also see the vanguard uh for the hunter right there i think pretty sure that's the hunter vanguard right there andal or andal something so i have to reread that i haven't read it in a while and i like to reread it here i have difficulties putting this i don't even put it in it to be honest i just i give up halfway but <clears throat> this is one of my favorite collector's editions just really cool Now here is the collector's edition for the Taken King. This one's really cool because a lot of art style, a lot of the stuff we already saw with the other one. But here you guys are going to see a hole in the book. That's actually where you put the strange coin. I'm going to do it right now just to show you guys because I, I have almost all the collector's editions on a shelf of mine just so I can feel like a nerd. And yeah, it's really cool. When I first saw it, I was like, that's fucking awesome. So here we have some goodies. It's a lot less than what was in the vanilla Destiny 2. But again, 
the vanilla De or the vanilla destiny 2 is like literally was the like the first thing that ever came off for destiny 2 so i feel like it should have been as big as it was not only that but the for what is it the taken king collector's edition was not that big like it was literally yeah like <clears throat> It was a lot smaller book wise or box size. Here we have some cards which I thought were cool. Some stickers, uh Tex Mechanica uh patch, which is really cool. And I think that's the note from Cade Six himself, which is really cool. Yeah, Cade Six. So like I said, I'm a big fan of these book things that that Bungie does. I think they're really cool because they really let you put your collector's edition like on a bookshelf, which is really cool. Like, I, yeah, Kate Six. So, like I said, I'm a big fan of these book things that that Bungie does. I think they're really cool because they really let you put your collector's edition like on a bookshelf which is really cool like I, that's what i have i have my my collector edition books books on the shelves this one is really cool because it's actually super simulant which is really fucking cool like i will never not think that's cool so yeah uh, one of my favorite things so like i said i really like that they did the bookcase thing just because it gives you another form of showing off your your uh collector's edition which is probably why i got a little disappointed with the beyond light collector's edition because there was no way of holding your stuff usually like i said each of these collector's editions has a way to hold your stuff in like some book form unfortunately the beyond light does not have that so what i will probably do is 3d print my own <coughs> i'll most likely I'll most likely 3D print my own collector's edition somehow and then just do that because very unfortunate that it didn't come with. Thankfully, I have a 3D printer so I can just design it myself. But again, unfortunate. Now here we have the collector's edition for Destiny 2 Vanilla. And it's really cool. I like it a lot because it is big. We also see some cool art from the booklet, which is really cool. I always appreciate that. Then we have this really cool poster, which I don't know if I would ever put up or not. Probably the other side, not this side, the purple side, but the other side's pretty cool. That one, that one, that one looks really cool. I'll probably do that one. And this one had a lot less stuff in it than compared to the other ones, but I do think it's cooler because the book, I think the book looks fucking awesome. Like. I'm okay with it not being a book as long as it, they go with this where it's like there's stuff in it. Uh, I think a lot of the stuff in this collector's edition was really cool. Again, we get postcards. Postcards like a thing that Bungie always does, which is fun. I think it's cool. We have the Leviathan on the left and an actual Leviathan on the right, which is really cool. I like it a lot. It looks so fucking cool. And then we have these uh, little like little things with the guardian insignias the one on the right is the hunter the one on the left that i'm just trying to show you is the warlocks and at this point i'm just like ah fuck it, i don't care you guys will see in a bit <laughs> that makes me laugh and then the titan one which looks really cool as well uh i did like this collector's edition i thought it was pretty cool when i first saw it uh way back when i got it i tried to do like a video on it when i was still like trying to do youtube on another channel but I just, it just never came out because I didn't have a camera at the time. I, truth be told, I still don't have a camera. What I'm recording right now is a is like a, a streaming camera, so I don't really see that as an actual camera. And then we get to the Shadow Keep box set. So funny enough, I actually thought the Shadow Keep box set was kind of weak in my opinion. It's, I think it's still weak. Don't get me wrong. I think it's weak, but the reason I like it is because it comes in such a cool box. And as you guys can see, that's the necklace, the nightmare necklaces that sh sh like glow red when there's a nightmare near you. I thought that was really cool. I wanna have it just, like I wanna have it out just to showcase it. But for the time being, I'm not gonna have it out. Uh, once we move out and we get our own place, my own office, then at that point, yeah. 
don't this is not destiny 2 related this is uh this is pins from other games that i just put there because it's a good place to put stuff you can see my face right there and then we get to the booklet which is cool i definitely love it it's just that i would never use it to write on because it's a lot of blank stuff and again postcards again destiny loves both postcards i'm okay with it they're it's cool it's their thing for collector's editions <clears throat> again the main gripe i have with this collector's edition is the fact that there's no case for the stuff and i know that's a weird thing to like really nitpick and i i understand it's a weird thing to nitpick but when you collect stuff like this it's really cool that everything kind of has its own thing like each collector's edition has had its own case where you put your stuff in also here you see the the note that either Savathun or Eris wrote talking about either or I don't know I, someone tell me in the comments below but <clears throat> I know it's a small thing to really nitpick it's just that for me the shadow keep it's just that it's it's one of those things where you compare all the ex all the con uh, collector's editions and it, you just feel like beyond light just there's just missing it's missing something <clears throat> the book that's really cool as well but yeah like i said i'm not trying to like make this a negative video i want to really show you guys all the collector's editions from past destiny experiences and that's really it like i didn't have any like negative like intentions with this video i just want to showcase that you know what i am a little disappointed with the beyond light collector's edition i do think that the stranger should have been in this collector's edition it would have been amazing or like give us some more good stuff like little goodies i i call them but essentially like stickers patches there was no patch in this one which surprised me there's like a booklet and then like a little plastic bag of like three things again for me it's just very like it just screams like we didn't try hard enough in this collector's edition and if i'm putting 200 dollars for it that's when i'm just kind of like ah i could have literally just bought this for like 30 60 dollars my guy so just feels kind of like a i don't know that's just how i feel about it i definitely will keep it i was thinking about selling it on ebay but at the end of the day, fuck it, whatever. I, I'm just gonna keep it. I definitely regret it a little bit and I'm definitely gonna see if it sells for a lot on eBay, but there's just a piece of me that just like is disappointed. And I think that's okay because there's just not a lot in it. There really isn't like the box was small don't get me wrong the box is bigger than the other box sets but that it's because of the bag itself you should see the box for for fucking uh vanilla destiny 2 that is huge <clears throat> so yeah at this point i'm gonna show you the bags this is the bag from the vanilla destiny 2 collector's edition and it's huge as you can see not only that we get also goodies like this where this is legitimately something you could use out in the wild like this is a solar powered like generator type thing where you basically can charge this this is actual an actual device that you can use to like use for light use to charge stuff it's really cool because if i were if i were to go outside or like let's say i go to uh conventions and whatnot and i don't see any power source around me i could literally use the sun the red thing was red wire requiring for survival and this is an actual thermal blanket if you guys don't know thermal blankets is like something that keeps you really warm because it's uh it attracts the heat, uh the heat really well so i didn't want to take it out because it's really a bitch to put it back in but it's really cool that they gave us this again i probably would never use a thermal blanket but actually I wouldn't use a thermal blanket or the wiring just because it's like something I wouldn't ever do, probably. But the solar power thing definitely would be something I would use. And the backpack itself is actually something I've actually used. I've used it in in conventions. I've used it in, I think, college, like my last year of college. And I think this backpack is so much more useful than the little bag we got because I'll 
explain why in a bit, but there's a lot of pockets. There's a lot of just room and storage for whatever you want. I, when I saw this bag, I was like, oh, we get a bag. That's weird. I would have preferred a statue, which I still hold true. Like I still would have preferred a, like a statue or something. But I think this is also cool because this is uh, a replica of Hawthorne's backpack that she has in game. So if you find that cool, then yeah, there that is. I will say that the bag that we get in Beyond Light, the collector's edition, the reason I don't like it is because something my girlfriend told me that kind of like really turned me off to it. And she was like, oh, it kind of looks like a lunchbox. And when she said that, I was like, oh my God, I hate this. Like it is a lunchbox. Why would they give us a lunchbox? Like $200 for just a lunchbox essentially. And at this point you can tell me, no, nah, it looks really cool. All this other, I, if it looks cool you, to you, man, hey man, be my guest. Like it's more power to you, but it's just comparing it to other collector's editions. This one just feels cheap. And I don't mean like they went the cheap route and got us a cheap bag. I mean like cheap as in like they could have given us something better uh you you could argue that the darkness shard is like the better thing it's just that i don't know man it just feels kind of whack like in my opinion like the bag just feels weak definitely i'm not gonna, i'm not here saying that the the shard of darkness isn't good or anything it's fucking awesome and i definitely bought it for that specific reason i apologize when i think this texting me or no that's something else so yeah let me know what your, your thoughts in the pro in the comments below i'm gonna continue on with the video for a bit but that, yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below i personally just think that the collector's edition is just lacking in some way shape or form i don't know what it is but it's just like it doesn't feel like it's enough like it doesn't feel like oh this is a good collector's edition it just feels like a very lackluster collector's edition so that's like my biggest gripe with it is the fact that it just doesn't feel good um with the shadow keep collector's edition i did feel that but then like the more i like felt like and the more i like played with it the more i looked at it i was like you know what man i like this collector's edition because it does give us something cool to play with like the uh the puzzle thing plus the necklace plus the big box that comes with it that's really the selling point that got me i was like that box is really fucking cool and i can put it like a book the fact that i'm gonna have to 3d print my own like storage for all that all of that stuff really irks me because that should have been something that i got because it's like every other collector edition does that so it probably bugs me more than it really should but again if i'm putting 200 dollars on a collector's edition I expect it to be of the same quality, if not better than the other collector's edition from the past. So that's really me. Uh, again, I didn't make this video to, to tag Bungie or anything. It's just, I wanted to do a comparison of all the collector editions because A, I wanted to show off and B, people might be curious. So if you guys wanna follow me on my social media, I'll listings are in the description below. Thank you everyone for the support. I have a few videos coming out for Destiny 2. Uh, I didn't make any other, like if you guys are wondering, well, you, get, you were gonna do Ghost of Tsushima. I decided to drop it because of Beyond Light. Beyond Light's gonna come, be coming out soon. And I didn't want anything to basically distract me from that because obviously Destiny 2 is really the big game that I do for my channel. So I didn't wanna start covering another game while playing Beyond Light. So once Beyond Light's out and about for a while, then I'll start covering other things. I'm definitely gonna be trying to do little series here and there. Oh, actually not even because it's like two weeks left until Beyond Light. So after like a month of Beyond Light, that's probably when I'll start doing other content or like probably mid through if I have enough time. But yeah, it doesn't really matter considering that people usually just watch my content for Destiny 2 anyway. So it'd be amazing if you guys could support my other endeavors, but it's okay for now, I guess. But yeah, that is actually it. I will be doing more stuff in the future. I'll probably do another video on that. I have a Destiny 2 video of Noctris coming up, which is really ha I'm really excited for because uh, I'm actually, it's gonna be a good video. So yeah, be safe guys, you know what's happening in the world and I'll see you guys later. All right. Uh, <clears throat> 
Destiny Collector Edition comparisons in three, two, one. Yo, what is up, guys? So for today, we're going to be doing the Destiny 2 Collector or Destiny Collector Editions like comparison video, which I said I was going to do now. This obviously is from the Beyond Light Collector's Edition. This is the Fragment of Darkness, I think it's called. And it looks cool. I love it a lot. It's one of really fucking heavy, more heavy than I thought it was going to be. This one is from Shadow Keep. This one is really cool, especially since it's actually a puzzle. You have to figure out like what to do for it to unlock it. And once you do, like I did, like I showed. 